We are talking about the grave of President John Evan Sata Mills, my older brother, and from the same father, the same mother with him. Apparently, a group calling itself at a Mills Institute that the family doesn't recognize and Coastal Development, Development Authority have gone to break this uh, grave of President John Evans at Mills. They have removed the tomb and what they've done is they claim that they are rebuilding it. Now my question is this, we have traditions. Why would you go and take somebody's, touch somebody's grave without informing the family. Now the question I want to ask is this. Now that you've gone to touch it, is the body still in that grave? What did you put in that grave? What kind of rituals did you perform over there? Why would you go and touch the grave without informing us? Who has the body now? And that is a question that I want to ask Ghanaians. Who has the body now? Coastal Development Authority. Under whose authority did you do this? Why do you always want to make us go through grief every time? Now you allow someone like Koku and Yidoho, that buffoon, working with them um, at a Mills Institute, so-called, to go and touch this grave without informing our family head. This is a former president. Why would the government allow this to happen?